We're learning to solve equations involving three variables, systems of equations when we have three unknowns. The key thing in doing these problems is to stay organized. I've listed five steps. We're going to follow those five steps. So to help us stay organized, we're going to number our equations 1, 2, and 3. First step says to use two of the equations to eliminate one of the variables. I have chosen variable z to be the one to eliminate because in one of our equations, the, the coefficient of z is negative 1, and that's going to make it easy to eliminate z. So we choose equations 1 and 3 to eliminate z. We do that by multiplying equation 3 by negative 5. This way, the coefficients of z will be negative 5 and positive 5. We want the coefficients to be the same except for different signs. So if their signs are different and the coefficients are opposite numbers, then when we add them, they're going to cancel out and become 0. They will eliminate. So we get 25x minus 15y plus 5z equals 85. I'm going to repeat the first equation down here. So when we add them, you will see that the z's eliminate. So now the coefficients of z are 5 and negative 5. So when we add them, they cancel. So we get 27x minus 11y equals 103. I will call this equation number 4. We're done with step 1. Now we're going to use two other equations to eliminate z as well. So we're going to use equations 2 and 3. So I am going to multiply equation number 3 by 2. This way, the coefficients of z will be positive 2 and negative 2, and they will eliminate when we add them. So we get negative 10x plus 6y minus 2z equals negative 34. We're going to repeat equation number 2 down here. Negative 3x plus 5y plus 2z equals negative 27. Once again, when we add these, the z's will cancel. So we get negative 13x plus 11y equals negative 61. We will number this equation, equation number 5. We're done with step B. We're going to use now these two new equations to eliminate another variable. So we We've learned this in prior sections, how to solve systems of equations when we have two variables, when we have two unknowns. So I'm going to list equation number 5 down here, negative 13x plus 11y equals negative 61. We got lucky in that the coefficients of y are going to cancel each other out. They are the same with different signs. If this was not the case, then we would have to multiply one or both of the equ equations by a number so that the, the coefficients would be the same and they, we could cancel them. But in this case, they are already cancelable. So we get 14x equals 42. Divide both sides by 14, we get x equals 3. We're done with step C. Now we're going to plug in this x that we got into either number 5 or number 4, either one of them, to solve for y. We should get the same y regardless of which one we plug it into. I'm going to plug it into number 5 since it's right here. So negative 13 times 3 plus 11y 
equals negative 61. Negative 39 plus 11y equals negative 61. Add 39 to both sides. These two cancel. We get 11y equals negative 22. Divide both sides by 11 we get y equals negative 2. We're almost done. We found our second variable. We just have one more variable to solve for. And we do that by plugging into the plugging in the x and the y that we found into any of the three original equations. So we could plug it into any of these three. It's up to you. So I'm going to plug it into the first one. So I plug in 3 for x and negative 2 for y. And we're going to solve for z. Notice the first one that we eliminated is the last one that we solve for. So 6 minus 8 minus 5z equals 18 negative 2 minus 5z equals 18. Add 2 to both sides. Negative 5z equals 20. Divide both sides by negative 5. And z equals negative 4. We've finished solving for our variables. You could list it in order from x to y to z. Okay. If you plug these numbers that you found into all the three equations that were given in the beginning, they should all be valid. They should make all equations be true. If they don't, that means we've made a mistake. I hope this was helpful. Keep on practicing.